Welcome to Feedback Friday, a weekly series where you choose the topics of commentary. Let's get started. Woody, how long will this YouTube trend last? So I'm not exactly sure what you mean by YouTube trend, but I interpret it to mean sites like YouTube, YouTube, Vimeo, LiveLeak, etc. And I think they will last forever. Um, I think what we're seeing is the dawn of a new trend of entertainment, which I think of as the have it your way entertainment. So like, for example, I was talking to the guy that cleans my stateroom, which is like a you know, cruise line hotel room, and he's into cycling. So cycling is cool, but it's not so popular that you can watch it on TV whenever you want, right? It comes and goes, and the Tour de France gets coverage. But outside of that, it's a little bit spotty. Well, with YouTube, he's able to find shows that satisfy his need for, you know, not super popular stuff all the time. The same is true with video games, right? You guys are watching this, you have an interest in video games, but, you know, there aren't video game channels on TV to occupy you all the time. YouTube and sites like it bring have it your way entertainment. You know, you can tailor what you want to watch, when you want to watch it, all the time, and I think that television is sort of falling out of date with the way that, you know, they want to dictate that you watch this show at 8 p.m. and it's a take it or leave it thing. Nope. The internet is here, it's made a giant change. The other thing that I'm excited about for sites like YouTube is the improvement they are going to bring upon the world. This is a big deal, right? Like um, authority figures like policemen will have to behave better than they did before knowing that everybody has a cell phone with a camera in their pocket and a YouTube account and they're ready to publish the bad things that they do. I had hoped that you know, in this political season that it would be nearly impossible to lie that politicians would no longer get away with saying things that weren't factually accurate because that would get published to YouTube. They'd start making videos contrasting what they said with you know what might be true. But um, it turns out that while fact-checking did play a bigger role in this political election than ever before, it didn't you know eliminate things that weren't true. Maybe four years from now, maybe four years from now, the entire population will get even more web savvy and they'll sit there on fact checking websites during the debates, cross checking, you know, what they're saying and what's going on. But how long will YouTube last? This notion of everybody being a content publisher is not going anywhere. Um, YouTube may come and go, but the broader idea of you know people like you and I being able to put our opinions and what we know online that's sticking around. And the broader idea of people having an interest in consuming them, I think that's staying too. Because you can just only have so many TV channels. Woody, what do you think of the Wings J Nasty drama? So here's the deal. I don't, as far as I know, this isn't like a nasty, like people hate each other kind of drama. I think it's more of a friendly, competitive type thing. I hope so anyway. I'm in a boat in the middle of the Pacific, so it's hard for me to keep in touch. But um, here's the deal. Jay Nasty is a, a new t new kind of gameplay getter, <laughs> for lack of a better term, and it kind of reminds me of the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, if you don't know, like maybe you're not American, the Harlem Globetrotters are this professional basketball team, and uh, they go against the Washington Generals every night, and they always win. And they have, you know, it's basically a team full of good players against a team full of bad players. And the Harlem Globetrotters are obviously incredibly good basketball players, right? They're pros. They do their thing. And, um... Uh, even though the game's kind of set up, they're doing things that I could never do. And that's kind of how I think of Jay Nasty's games, right? Like, it, he's kind of there for entertainment. Does it, do you have to be good to do what Jay Nasty does? Yes, absolutely. And, um, but I think Wing sees it and says, oh, wait a minute, you know, you're, you know, you've got a whole team of five guys dropping ballistic vests at your feet. I don't think you're actually that good. And now they're going to play each other. I think it's exciting. So, you know, what do I want to happen on this thing? Here's my idea. I want Painkiller Already, the most overpowered podcast on YouTube, to come back and come back with style. I would love to see on our return, which should be about a week from now, for us to have the Wings of Redemption versus Jay Nasty battle on there. I would love for us to have Road to Black Ops 2 where we call Game Stops and such and try to get them to give us the game early, Walmart. I, I would love for us to come back with the kind of splash that would make this thing super huge. So um, I haven't been able to talk to Wings about it. Like I said, I'm in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But uh, I think that it's kind of exciting and we're going to see, you know, how a guy you know who plays all the time goes up against a guy who plays all the time. They both play with teams they both have their squads they both think they can win i think it should be awesome to watch and uh best case scenario both of these guys are known to get mad at the drop of a hat i think someone's gonna get mad one way or the other and it's gonna be great for everyone who's watching 
Woody, you seem to commentate less and less about the actual gameplay that you're showing. Yep, that's by design. I, I think that, with regards to Call of Duty specifically, guys are really interested in tips and how to play well and how to do that sort of thing as the new Call of Duty drops, as new maps drop. But, once summertime rolls around, some people are completely tired of the game, and even the ones that aren't tired of the game, they already know how to play the game, and they're not looking for quick tips or advice or, you know, this weapon is good. You don't need me to tell you that the ACR is a strong gun at this point in the game's life cycle. However, when Black Ops 2 drops, then I'll be more than happy to get that game early, get a head start on what's good and what's bad, and help you guys play better. So, um, that's, that's how it goes, you know. This time of year, gameplay commentary, I think, is less critical than it will be uh, in a few months. Woody, will there be a double tap Y in Black Ops 2? Yes. For those of you who don't know, one way to sort of cancel a weapon reload is to double tap Y, and it will be back and it will act faster in Black Ops 2 just like it did in the older versions of Call of Duty. I'm personally a sprint reload canceler, so it doesn't impact me very much, but uh, if you're a double tap Y guy, then it will be there for you. That should make you happy. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to show that like button a little bit of love. If you're new around here, you can subscribe in the top right. Two vids you may have missed. The left one is a dual com with Colin, where me and my son get on the mic and talk together. And on the right is Wife Wednesday, Jackie's Gold Digging. Check those out. Have a good day.